Hello, my name is Chef Joe Harrell. I am internship coordinator here at Florida State College of Jacksonville in the School of Culinary Arts. The following video is five students describing how and where they did their unconventional internship. I hope you find these videos informative when choosing your internship here at the School of Culinary Arts. Thanks and enjoy the videos. Hello, my name is Melinda Gregory and I did my internship on a train in Alaska. Why did I do that? Well, I mean, it's, it's like a dream destination and I had the opportunity to, to learn more about this field in Alaska of all places, so I uh, jumped on the opportunity. It came about because I saw some posters in our, uh, on our bulletin board and I just was, I called the number to see what it was about and I got more and more interested the more I learned about it and, well, I just went for it. I believe it was successful for me because I was determined to get something out of it no matter what. It, it, it kind of speaks for itself to say I, you could stay here and you could do the normal thing that you would do every day. However, how often do you get this opportunity? I say jump on it and go for it. Any experience it, at all is just its going to make me a better person which in turn is going to make me more excited about this career that I'm choosing. Uh, it's just anything that I learned at all is just going to drive me more into it. It's exciting. Hi, my name is Dean Miller and I interned at Terra White Mission. Basically, it's a missionary that provides um, both meals for the community as well as um, housing and um, meals for the veterans as well. The reason why I chose Clear White was because that's where I started. They basically gave me the basics and it, w it was challenging at the time, but then as, as, as I progressed, I realized I got better at it and desired to take it to the next step. When I came to FSCJ, I, I, my knowledge expanded vastly. I saw the opportunity where I could take that back to Clear White and actually show them stuff that, you know, how they could achieve, you know, how much more they could achieve. So I think it would, I, I would say it was a success for me personally, both as a person and as an aspiring chef. My name is Connie Pecoraro and I'm an intern at the North Florida School of Special Education and Very Good Farms. It's been a wonderful experience for me. I'm working with students that have special needs that have an interest in the culinary field. I was looking for something a little different. I, I had an interest in you know, maybe doing some teaching, working with a student population. Um, the North Florida School of Special Education has a, has a relationship here with FSCJ um, and through my professors I was able to make some connections there, uh, spent a little time there, really bonded with the students and um, thought that it would be a good fit. Well when you're working with the students and they're getting it and you feel like you're, you're really able to teach them something and they're smiling and you're smiling, you can't beat that. That's, you know, that's what it's all about. It's not your traditional internship, but really, it's, it's, I've learned so much from it. My name is David Zorn. I interned at Strohana Hawksfish Hotel and Spa in Oostersund, Sweden. My heritage, personal heritage, is uh, Scandinavian, so when I was going through this program, we got to decide where we want to do internships. I originally started looking at Norway, uh, Sweden, Finland, all those areas. So uh, I was able to uh, get an internship at a hotel, spa, and restaurant over in Oostersund, Sweden. I love the whole farm to table movement that's here in America. And there's restaurants over there that they, they forage off the land. At the hotel I was at, I was able to walk up the hill pick lingonberries off the, off the ground, take them into the hotel, clean them up, and use them in our dishes on a daily basis. I suggest to all the students out there, get out and find something that you really truly believed in or where you want to eat or what do you desire to, to find and, and get out there and find that. Don't stick to what you think is gonna make you a TV chef right off the bat or, or make you popular at, at a local fancy restaurant. You know, get out there and find your own ground and plant your own feet somewhere become your own chef. My name is Christian Guzman and I interned in restaurant Miramar, two Michelin stars in Spain. Possibly the best thing I've ever done in my life. Um, I got a chance to go to 
Restaurante Miramar uh, over in Janza, Spain, over on the coast, um, and it was just amazing. It was more than I expected. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, but I don't regret it at all, and it prepares you a lot. So definitely worth, worth the time. You have to work hard, volunteer, study, do the homework. Everything that you don't think matters really does matter. And at the end, all that hard work is gonna be paid off. You're gonna end up getting the respect just by, by pushing.